you know, just never give up. All right, what's up, YouTube? So uh, that was a video I posted yesterday. Actually, I posted it today. Um, you know, I'm trying to stay positive. Fuck it. Uh, Christmas is coming up, and I'm just trying to like not think about that shit. But um, I did a water change on this tank already. I'm doing another water change because this tank needs to be changed. I drained half the water out of the tank and I'm going to fill it back up. As you can see my catfish in there. I got a few fishes in there, um, but we're going to be doing the water change and I'm just going to stay positive today. But uh, we're going to make and practice doing some custom t-shirts because I haven't worked out the details with my friend yet to do custom t-shirts. So um, today we're gonna try on these press-on trends for paper looking things um, to see how they look. All right, so for those of you who cannot really hear me that well when I turn the camera away from me, it's because I'm using that, oh, it's probably really loud now. I'm using this microphone that's like pointed directly at me. Um, so when it's further away, you can't really hear me. So I'm sorry for that. I could use the one on the, the DSLR, but I like this a lot better. It takes away a little, a little bit of the um, you know background noise and stuff like that. So I guess for now, I should stick... To, ugh, it looks so homo. I should stick this in front of my mouth now and start talking. Or when I turn it around, maybe I would just, I'll just leave it like that. You know what I mean? I don't know. We'll see. Just bought these uh, shirt transfer thingies, and um, yesterday I actually bought the fabric transfer sheets, which I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. So I went ahead and made a bunch of these, Cancel Lamb Garage, um, as you can see um, from my previous videos. So I printed these out on an ink inkjet printer, and I didn't realize that when I started peeling it, it's like it's like fabricy, and you can't just iron these on you got to glue them on somehow so i was like what the fuck man so I, like i don't know anything about buying or making t-shirts but i thought i went ahead and practiced um you know making some just for the meantime so i have varieties so like a rocket outside of the the house and be recognized and this and that whatever i'm talking to one of my friends right now and he's actually in the process of making me a t-shirt he's just been very busy with his own business because he does make t-shirts his name is noah uh, funk fashion if you guys ever heard of him because he makes some dope ass shit I bought a few shirts from Michaels totally got ripped off it's four dollars a piece and I thought that was a good deal considering the H&M shirt I bought was ten bucks anyway I bought them four dollars they're made by Gildan you can see there but apparently this company really sucks and we're gonna be using a different type of shirt when I when I work with my friend and, and whatever so I bought a black tee a gray tee and a white tee because usually when you start your own t-shirt line you want to have the basic colors because you know this is just very neutral people could rock it it'll match so doing this print was really nice only problem is the sheets that you buy are only like 11 inches um tall or long so on a medium or large shirt this looks really stupid but as you can see here you know this is not usable but they look pretty right so I might keep this for another project or you know glue it to something so I went back and bought these okay as you can see right there Jolie's uh, transfer paper or something like that uh, made for light fabrics and made for dark fabrics so ideally this is transfer paper so you print it out on the transfer paper and they are supposed to, and you're supposed to iron them on to the uh, uh, t-shirts. So let's go back to wide because wide looks cooler. 
Uh, parchment paper, this is what you lay on top of the print when you're ironing so it doesn't burn it. Um, I got instructions. So I'm going to read over this and hopefully I can do it right. I'm going to try to I'm gonna, uh, set up the camera and you can see me do everything. Anyway, I'm going to set this up and then we're going to practice doing it on uh, one of these t-shirts. So probably going to do gray. You know what? I don't know. Maybe I'll print some out and then do it on like a shitty ass shirt. I'll do that. To save material and to save time, uh, I'm going to try to make a bunch of these and then practice doing it on like a shitty ass shirt I have laying around and see how it turns out. If it turns out very well, then I'll actually do it on these shirts. They are all size medium because I wear medium. I used to wear small until I got fat. So we're going to practice doing that first and uh, let's see how I do. All right, first run, no. Okay, so I tried a couple samples here. Um, the one on the far right, I've already got made, but I made these uh, ones on the left. They're a little more simpler, a little bolder. All right, so I printed these shirts out, or I printed, I printed these logos out, and I have this shirt here that I put um, that cardboard underneath and centered it on the back. Um, it didn't print out as nicely as I thought. You can see there's like little lines throughout thing. I printed it like three times over and over, and this is the best I'm gonna get. You're looking for attention. What's up guys, so the shirts Not bad, right? So I started printing these out and for some reason I ran out of ink But I kind of like the way the purple looks so I might use uh, One of the top two to make my my shirt logo Like that I think it's pretty sweet. I like it. So, if you guys want me to make more t-shirts, I could. Uh, I'm talking to my friend, like I said before, about you know printing me a few shirts. If you guys are interested in buying some, uh, leave a comment. Uh, put a thumbs up in the video. Uh, maybe I'll figure out how to do a website so I can do a uh, you know a for sale thing, a blog spot. I don't know what you guys call it, but you know those stores where people like post up stickers and things that they sell. I don't know. Uh, I try to price them fairly, you know, low, but I just it just depends how much the cost is, you know what I mean? With shipping and materials and t-shirts itself. Marley, if I get more updates, I'll let you guys know. But right now, uh, I'm gonna cut these out and just iron one of them onto this. But hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you're a first time viewer. Like the video if you really enjoyed it and if you want a t-shirt and comment below if I should start selling t-shirts and if you guys are interested in buying them. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, alright? Peace. Wow, look at that. That is amazing.